Let's get straight to it. Shaquille Griffin, welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. Sometimes players need new scenery to ball out. I know and I understand he was on the Panthers. He was on the Texans last season, but it ain't the Minnesota Vikings. And I'm a little biased. When you come to the Minnesota Vikings, it's another, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. The vibes and the en energy is a lot different. And Brian Flores, I have that much confident in his ability to coach on that defensive side of the ball. I think he's second to none on the defensive, the defensive mindset that he has. He's second to none in my opinion. But let me say that Shaquille Griffin is a deaf piece. A letter grade that I give this signing is a B plus because I feel like you need this leadership in your locker room, in that cornerback room. You need that veteran leadership. You need that experience. And when I say he has experience, he was a Pro Bowl in 2019, and he's a willing tackler. And that's the thing I, I need my corners to be able to do. You know what I mean? Be willing to tackle the ball carrier. Don't be scared from tackling players, man, because that short gain of, gain of five can easily be a touchdown if you miss that tackle because you're scared to make that tackle. I don't need that. I don't need that for my corners. Y'all like the last line of defense, to keep it real. Safety is in the cornerback. So, if your cornerbacks ain't making the tackles and they're missing open field tackles all the time because they're scared to tackle the ball carrier, that hurts the team a lot. But I like this signing a lot, man. And if Andrew Booth isn't doing his thing, best believe Brian Flores is going to be like, yo, Shaquille, Shaquille, go in for him. If a Caleb Evans, you know, he had ups and downs throughout the season last season, hey, yo, go in for him. You know what I mean? This is a good, solid piece, and I like it, man. And the thing about this is this defense, like people keep on saying like, oh, this is going to be a, a three-year rebuild. We're not going to do anything next season. We're not going to make the playoffs. Bro, I'm trying to tell you the rate that this defense, like this defense is going to be really good. If we can get that dominant defensive tackle, you know what I mean? That uh, everyday defensive tackle that applies that pressure and stops that run, bro. This defense is going to be nasty under Brian Flores. Like Brian Flores and Quazy and Kevin O'Connell are cooking up something special, man. They're cooking up a special team, and we just need to get that quarterback in this upcoming draft. But just think about it, Jerry Tillery, defensive tackle. Yeah, all right. Not at every down defensive tackle, but. Brian Flores is going to bring the best out of him. We're going to see what happens with him. You know, Jonathan Grenard, we pretty much swapped out defensive ends, but Jonathan Grenard had a, a career high in, in sacks last season with 12 and a half. He's going, to be, he's going to be all right. And you know, Blake Cashman, I love his high motor. I love his energy. And we needed that in the linebacker room to be next to Ivan Pace and all of them. And then we got Andrew Van Genkel. Did I say his last name right? <laughs> I don't even know if I said his last name right, but hold on. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. If you haven't me. already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button is definitely going down. But all I'm trying to say is, y'all, don't underestimate these moves. I know it's not Xavier Howard. Of course, I would love to get Xavier Howard over Shaquille Griffin. And I mean that in no disrespect. I just know Xavier Howard is that dude. And when he intercepts the ball, he's going for the six. He, he... <laughs> He's, he's that guy, you know what I mean? But I don't know if we're going to be able to afford him, but I'm not underestimating Queasy because he's doing his thing in the kitchen right now. But I want to actually, another corner that I really liked was Kendall Fuller, but I believe he just signed with the Dolphins a couple of days ago. So, I mean, this is a solid signing, man. I give it a B plus. Y'all leave in the comments. What grade y'all give it? If you think this is a mistake, let me know and tell me why. If you think I'm underestimating it, even though I don't think I am, I'll give it a B plus because I feel like he can replace Andrew Booth or a Caleb Evans, you know, if they don't do what they have to do. I'm not really worried about Byron, Byron Murphy. I mean, if they get injured, of course, you can go put Shaquille Griffin in there and he'll hold his own. You know what I mean? He'll hold his own. And that's what I like about him. And he's not old. I like this move, man. I like this move. Y'all leave in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm out. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.
My sports vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Yeah. My sports vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Uh -huh. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go. I really do this. I'm a hybrid fan. Uh -huh. I'm a stand up man. Yeah. They be hating on the squads, but, but they, they really, really a fan. fan. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go.